He built up a fashion empire over the course of decades, and today Peter Nygaard took the stand in his own defense facing some serious sexual assault allegations. He tried to paint the picture of being a hard worker, passionate about the industry, who didn't get into trouble during his heyday. After weeks of hearing testimony from five different women, 82-year-old Peter Nygaard sat at the front of the courtroom with dark-tinted glasses, gray hair slicked back, facing questions from his attorney, Brian Greenspan. Stories of moving to Canada from Finland as a child, settling with his family in Manitoba, before growing up and building up his international fashion brand. The defense is attempting to humanize their client. The Crown spent the last few weeks trying to paint Mr. Nygaard as some type of rich, wealthy, opulent, sexist, misogynist. Uh, and I think what the defense wants to do and needs to do uh, in putting him up to testify is show the jury that there's more to this man. Nygaard spoke about staying at his offices throughout Canada and the world, putting on fashion shows and becoming a celebrity in the business, but not being tempted by other aspects of the industry. Quote, I was not into drugs, I was not into smoking, I was not into alcohol, I did not ruin myself like a lot of other people did. I never did that. He's going to be judged by 12 members of our community, jurors, who've heard a number of complainants all accuse him of very serious crimes. It's almost as if a lot of them are probably begging the question of, you know, what's his response to this? What does he say happened? Nygaard went on to speak about properties he owned, including a large beachside estate in the Bahamas. When Greenspan asked if there was space created for, quote, secret sexual conduct, Nygaard replied, that's insane. A number of the women accusing Nygaard have said they were at his Toronto office on Niagara Street when the alleged sexual assaults took place. Testimony has included that they felt trapped. When asked about it, Nygaard said, there were passcodes to come and go from a bedroom suite to his private office for security. At this point, Nygaard has yet to speak about any of the specific allegations. He is set to take the stand again on Thursday. Mark McAllister, City News.